Ah, that stage in every modern man's life where you need to come to a decision. Are you just another bro in a sheepdog t-shirt? Or are you a member of the modern warrior class? Because if you want to be part of the latter, you're going to have to read some damn books. Hey guys, Alex Hollings from the Loadout Room here to tell you about the three books you need to buy this month in order to stay a well-rounded modern warrior. The first one, Murphy's Law, Jack Murphy's new memoir. If you're not familiar with Jack Murphy, he's the editor-in-chief over at newsrep.com. He's also a former Army Ranger, former Green Beret weapons sergeant, and a longtime investigative journalist. This book talks about everything from his time in the military to his time working as a journalist and traveling to Syria to interview Bashar al-Assad. If you want to have a better understanding of the Iraq War, the War on Terror, or just foreign policy as it exists in the world today, this is a must-read. But honestly, aside from that, Jack's just an awesome storyteller. The stuff that he talks about in this book will blow you away. The stories about his times on deployments, his times working as a journalist in dangerous uh, environments, you can't beat it. And that's not just because I get a name drop in this book, but that's an extra reason why I recommend it. The second book I want to talk to you guys about today is The Gun and the Scythe by Luke Ryan. Now, unlike Jack Murphy's memoir, this book is actually a collection of poetry that Luke wrote during and about his combat deployment serving as an army ranger. Luke is a genuine operator. He's the real deal. So for him to release a book of his poetry really kind of showing the emotion of his, of his experiences is, is touching and heartfelt. And let me tell you, some of these poems will choke you up. You know, he writes about military working dogs, surviving IED blasts, losing friends. This might be a tough read for those of you who have, who've had similar experiences to Luke during your time in service. But whether you have or you haven't, it's a great time to take a look at the incredible writing that Luke Ryan is doing. He's also got a series of post-apocalyptic fictional novels that uh, the first book has already come out called The, the uh, First Marauder. I highly recommend that as well. But this week, this is the one you need to read. The Gun and the Scythe by Luke Ryan. It's poetry for warriors. The last book I want to talk to you guys about today is Inside the Black Vault by John Greenwald Jr. Now, John runs a website called The Black Vault that some of you may already be familiar with. This guy inundates the government with Freedom of Information Act requests mostly pertaining to classified knowledge of UFOs or UAPs, as people tend to refer to them now, unidentified aerial phenomenon. Now, I know that that might seem like tinfoil hat stuff, but seriously, the Pentagon's been taking it very seriously over the past few years, investing something like $22 million into the subject. The Navy is currently establishing new reporting procedures for when pilots see UFOs in the sky. This subject is incredibly important to national defense, and John knows it. As you read through this story, you get to run into some of the obstacles that he's faced along the way, but you also learn some really, really interesting things with classified documents that have been declassified thanks to John's efforts that support his assertions. Now, you might believe in UFOs, you might not believe in UFOs, but either way, it's really interesting stuff to learn about, especially now that the, the Pentagon is taking this so seriously once again. Now, whether you're worried about being the center of attention at a professional lunch or at, over beers at the bar with your buddies, these books are going to give you the breadth of field that you need to know what's going on around us in the world today. Some of it is emotional, some of it is a little crazy, and some of it will hit you right in the gut. But all of it is worth reading. Until next time, I'm Alex Alex.